Alright guys, just wanted to show off my um, vacuum chamber that I recently built. I thought there's mo no point in me going and spending £300 or so on a large vacuum chamber when I can possibly make it for myself. Um, and there's just tons of YouTube videos out there on, on how to make your own. This is just one of the de uh, designs that I saw. Um, mainly you just need to get yourself a large metal pot. This one's aluminium, I believe. Um, you can get these probably for twenty pounds or so in places like Trago Mills uh, in the UK, or I presume the US, possibly Home Depot or something like that. Uh, I've got a rubber gasket around the top of it, which is just some surgical tubing, which I've cut down in the middle and pressed it on top. Pressing it on top should just be fine, but I actually put some silicon sealant around it as well, just to make it. Uh, a little bit better and hopefully grip onto it a bit more and the top is just a 5mm bit of perspex um, which that was an ebay job and the, the pipe work that's on the top there's no point in me really going into a huge amount of detail about the pipe work because you can almost put anything you want you, you don't need the gauge but it's useful to have to tell you actually how much vacuum you have and whether there's any leaks or anything like that same with the valve you don't have to have the valve you can just run your vacuum pump um, for the amount of time you need to to degas the silicon but it's it's useful to have and this one doubles up as a handle anyway um, at the moment I've got it connected up to a vacuum cleaner which I thought might be able to do it but I don't think uh, it will be you need 0 0.9 bar or so to degas silicon effectively and I think at the moment this can only give me 0 0.2 but I'll, I'll turn it on and show you anyway. It has a really good seal on it. I just need to get a larger pump to be able to degas silicon properly. So let's try this out. So as you can see there, it holds at about 0 0.2, just above 0 0.2 bar. Um, so the seal is really good. I just need to get a, a stronger pump. Just release that and you'll see the perspex deform back into place. So yeah, unfortunately I can't really do any degassing of silicon at the moment because the, the pump's not good enough. But I should do another video soon with a better pump that, that I'm getting uh, soon and we'll see how that goes. All right, if you have any questions or anything like that just ask me in the comments I'll be happy to help. Thanks.